Hello, it's your girl Shakara Dange and I am back with a message. So what's up y'all? It's a beautiful day and I just decided to come out here and give a message in the nature and the land and it feels immaculately amazing. Um, disclaimer, if I start to finch or whatever like that, it's because a bug or the animals they is um i just had a stare off with a squirrel i guess he was expecting that i would reach out and, and have something for him i don't have anything for them um and they is real bold out here like literally just stood and watched and looked at me like you got something for me or not and i said no and he still was standing there so uh yeah um you know on my p's and q's with that because baby look don't run up on me like you about to get big on me um so yeah i got a message the i was asleep last night real early like i just had got tired out of nowhere and i sh i tried to stay up as long as i could because i know that if i go to sleep early i'm gonna, I'm gonna be back up early and I don't want to be up in the middle of the night and it's just like the middle of the night so I don't have nothing else to do right but I couldn't make it <laughs> so 9 30 look I shut everything down and I was asleep but I knew in my head I was gonna be back up but I think that it was it was needed my body needed rest and then um the message that came through in my dreams it had me reflective when i got back up i got back up like at one something and so yeah i've been up since one i just realized that like these times just be so weird and i just be flowing with it you know so i just let it flow um i don't know but i had a very like vivid dream which i always have vivid dreams um oopsie look <laughs> this is why nature just ooh, it's just be nature don't even want oh that was a big lightning bug which I haven't been seeing them and then other stuff look okay focus focus your car okay so yeah the dream it was um i would say prophetic and i was gonna post it as a status but i feel like somebody did just need to hear it and see it or whatever but yeah and i feel like it's it's for the collective it's it's for me it's for anybody that want to claim it or whatever so um i guess I guess I was on vacation and you know when you go on vacation you be in a hotel or whatever and um you see and be around different people that are also on vacation and so it was different people um using the elevators and going in and out them and everything like that and I feel like I was trying to get to my room but i kept on going to the wrong floors or i was just lost in the dream i guess but i didn't feel lost i i knew where i was going but it was just like delays and detours because each floor it was like the wrong numbers plastered but i knew where i needed to go and i could i wasn't seeing it or whatever so i got on the elevator and other people was getting on and you know how you you push number whatever so they had me push a number i pushed my own number and then we still ended up at the wrong floor with other people that was trying to get on the elevator so they got on the elevator and it was just like um different people that wasn't supposed to be on the elevator basically and then um it was 
it was uh I'm sorry y'all I'm distracted <laughs> I don't even know why I guess there's a lot of stimulus in in the nature right now but I just wanted to be out here so goodness gracious I took a step and I got out the house because I'll be comfortable in the house or whatever for these very reasons I'm not a nature girl but I like the effects of being in um, nature and putting my feet in the ground and grounding that way or whatever but when it comes to the bugs and they home I would rather, you know, respect that it's they home. They outside and they home or whatever. And I'm in their environment and it's our environment too, but shit. They don't be respecting my ears and they don't be respecting my space. So they just be all up in my ear and stuff. They ain't doing that now, so I'm glad, but it's a lot going on. Apparently, that people wanted to be band practicing and then you know we got the park over there and then people walking with their pets and then the damn squirrels they just had babies so these babies is running rampant <laughs> they don't have no chill they in and out these garbage cans like it's a lot going on but okay we're gonna get through this message so focus okay focus so where I live off in the dream. So we um we are in the elevator with a group of people now and when they got picked up at the wrong floor or whatever, I started to say like, man, I just wanna be I just want to be on vacation and rich like that. Like whatever they had. They I don't even think they had anything like to make me say that but that's what i said in the dream while we waiting for them to get out their room close their door and come and get on the elevator but they wasn't supposed to be on the elevator or whatever like that and so that's what i just started dancing and singing like oh i just i just want to be rich i can't wait to be rich and um vacation just because like that or whatever like that's what I said. That's what I was dancing in this dream, seeing that. And so then, everybody on the elevator, like, just lit. And we dancing, like, yep, can't wait to be rich. Can't wait to be lit like that. Just on vacation, just because. Whatever I was saying in the dream. And so then, then people got off or whatever. And it was like we was about to be stuck on the elevator because when the doors closed, to go to the next floor or try to go to the next floor it was like it was about to be stuck and then it was like a hesitation for them to open or whatever so you know when you claustrophobic it'd be like okay these doors not opening fast enough so it was almost like a panic but they opened but they still was about to like trap the other people. So I like double back to try to help them or whatever and the door just opened. And so we own the the floor we supposed to be on, but I still can't find the room because the numbers are just not correct. And so I finally asked like a hotel administrator or something like that, like what room I'm how I get to my room or something like that. So I got directed to my room and along the way, finally to the room, I seen 111 specifically. And 111 represents new beginnings. So this whole, this whole dream represents that you might be in a season where you, you going up or you see that you going up and you 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 got the vision for it but it's detours it's delays it's um it's people that's on your elevator that ain't supposed to be there and so until they get off the elevator and go where they supposed to be 
then that's when you can get to where you're supposed to be because they can't go up with you. They can't be with you. And so that's why the delays have to happen with the doors not opening right away. And then you panicking and trying to worry and figure out how you're going to get out of it. But you ain't got to worry about how you're going to get out of it because the door opened when it was time to. You just had to be patient for a second. And the other part of the dream of just knowing that you know you are meant to live a certain life and so you gotta claim it you gotta be excited before it even start happening you just get excited just by seeing someone else living the life that you desires to live with no hate no nothing you celebrating for them or with them because you see I can I could do that and that's what I want and that's what I'm gonna manifest and that's 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 what I'm doing by just being me. And so seeing one 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 in the dream it just represents new beginnings are here and elevation and going up and knowing that it's happening, it's here and um the elevation is apparent. And it's the signs for me, <laughs> it's the signs for me truly that um, every single thing, every single detail is being intricately orchestrated for you because you that worthy. And so all of these delays and detours along the way had to happen so that you can get to this point of loving yourself. And so... When I woke up from going to sleep so early, I just was laying there and I just began to talk to God. And I was assessing everything that's been happening in my life, on this journey, everything. And I, um, I came to the conclusion that some people just ain't gonna understand the journey you on. Some people not gonna understand you on the journey. Some people just not gonna understand you at all. And they are going to have a phase where they are irritated by you. That you irritate their demons. That you irritate them and they don't even know why. They just feel away and it's only because they see you growing and flourishing past them or was wasn't ever meant to be on um on the same level um because they never chose to heal or they are in different seasons of their life and they don't see it and you do so you act accordingly. You are watering your garden. You are driving in your lane. You are fixed and focused on the right things. And you are just being you. And so I just love it. I love that I have the extra music in the background. <laughs> So it just, um, it creates a space where it gets lonely. It gets lonely because you either have to take time to continue to explain your soul and what you're doing um, just by being you. Because sometimes it just be like, I ain't explaining this shit, you know go to the conclusion that you want to go to because I know me and then sometimes you have to um take the time to explain like you know it's it's um your your journey is where you at and it's on a different level and you know you just have to show yourself more grace show yourself more love pour into yourself 
and accept that some people um, are only meant to be a season, a moment in your life, not a lifetime. Like we get um, mixed up a lot of times with making long-term choices and decisions with temporary people. And that's where the problem be at with certain things because we get in contact with people and we um and we know that it's a higher purpose but sometimes when we get in we don't know what that higher purpose is until it's just randomly blatant and clear as day and so we get mixed up with these people and they get mixed up with us and they um they attach themselves to us or you know vice versa it's a mutual thing it's a create an attachment that's hard to detach from when it's time to go to the next level and some people don't take it so easily they 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 blame you because they are not healing first and foremost so they don't see it as um, a leveling up. They see it as um, you are being different, you're acting funny, or something like that. And it's like, no, I'm just working on me. And I'm focusing on me and I'm loving on me because you don't know, you don't know how hard it was to get to this point of finally choosing me. And so sometimes with certain people, certain things and situations, no, I cannot sit with you and explain to you why. You feel the way you feel. That's not my problem. And no matter how harsh it may feel or sound, it's not. It's not your problem to explain other people's insecurity towards you. Other people's trigger towards you. You can only plant the seed and keep going. And that's essentially what you do just by being you. And if you happen to trigger people that's triggering them to heal it's triggering them to choose to pay attention to something that they haven't been paying attention to before i will pick this day <laughs> to want to be out here in the um, in the nature and give a message but it's beautiful i appreciate it i guess i gotta be loud i don't know <laughs> but um yeah, you teach them to wake up to themselves by just being you. And the bigger picture and the bigger message of this is that you cannot hold people's hand in their healing. Just like you had to cry it out, purge it out and surrender it out they have to do the same thing they have to first choose and accept that okay I'll, i'm gonna choose not to take things personal a lot of people be taking things personal when it comes to you and your healing and, and your self-love and and all of that and it's it's beyond me honestly because i'll be like you mad that I am loving on myself and I'm choosing myself and I'm happy for real you mad and then I have to stop and think and be like okay yeah people are taking things personal because they don't understand and stuff um so I really had to evaluate that and get that through my head because I would sit up sometimes and be like, why are people acting like that towards me or towards other people that I see as really unbothered and in their own lane and happy and healthy and, and healing and glowing and doing them and just happy. And it's people that's bothering them because they are in their own lane. They don't bother nobody. And 
I'm speaking for myself. I don't bother nobody. I be in my own lane, doing my own thing, and just being me. Behind closed doors and in front of them. In your face and behind your back. I am just going to be me. And that's love. That's kindness. That's, that's understanding. Understanding. Like, even when I ain't in the situations that you've been in, I can understand. And so, I just really, for the life of me, don't be understanding it. And so, God had to speak to me today. And really give me to understand that and deduce that down with myself. That's what I do a lot when I talk to myself and talk to God and counsel and all of that good stuff. I have to deduce it down. God was like, yeah, you just not, it's not meant for you to hold their hand through their insecurities. It's not meant for you to hold their hand through whatever you triggered in them by you just being you. You know that you don't um, use harsh words or be unkind. You know you. And so you know that it's just a trigger because you know that you, um, you just being you. And they are triggered by something with loving yourself because you not choosing them or whatever and so God was like yeah you gotta you gotta be comfortable with that that people gonna fall away from you because they know that they are not on the level that you require of them and they know it and so they either going to make it a problem or they just going to naturally fall off because yo, yo, your paths are going to go two different ways naturally. And so it's okay. You don't have to feel like you did something wrong. They don't have to feel like it's a conversation that needs to be had or anything. You just allow it to be what it's going to be. Because it's going to be any anyway. <laughs> it's going to be what God intends for it to be anyway. So, I want to encourage somebody that's going through this phase right now. Of discovering who they are. And walk, walking in their power. And standing up in their power. And standing in ground. And unapologetically being you and by you being you and, and walking in your purpose you are triggering people and so you wondering why people keep falling from you or or people that want to date you feel a way about you low-key and you be gifted so you be knowing despite anything that they do or don't say you just be like okay here we go again um spirit gonna test you it's just a part of it so you knowing and being the gifted person or whatever like that you just have to not take it personal you just have to see it for what it is and accept it for what it is and just allow it to flow out as how it's gonna flow and me being me i just understand that yeah people really do be on different levels and in their journey of healing and choosing themselves and knowing themselves and waking up to themselves because a lot of the misunderstandings that's going on in this world right now is because of identity. People don't be knowing who they are. And so how are they getting in relationships and saying they love somebody and they don't even love themselves? They don't even like themselves. And so it's creating problems within the black community, within themselves, within relationships, because... They see you doing you and, and, and glowing and shining and loving yourself for real and all of this good stuff. And they just, um, they feel away. 
and it's okay because like I said that's just essentially them getting triggered to either level up and do something about it or is they just a hater I should look up the itinerary of the park next time. Because <laughs> this is funny. Like, it would be the day that I want to bring the, the video out here. That is a whole musical going on. <laughs> oh, it's just be comical in the world we live in. But it's a sign and everything. Like, you hear them words, you're gonna be great. It's just the beginning. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Everything is a sign. That lucky star. That's you. So rise above the distractions. Rise above the panic, rise above everything that's trying to keep you in a stuck and stagnant place. Because that's also what it, it could do if you let it. You could get so down that people just ain't understanding you. You got to remember who you are first and foremost. You cannot remember who they are and, and try to appease them and their insecurities it's okay they will get through it they will understand like okay well i'm at this level in my life so i i need to work on my insecurities that if someone don't want me like in that way then maybe we can be be friends if they don't want me in that way then maybe we could just you know create a bond it's, it's more to life than, you know, fucking and sucking and all of that good stuff and, and claiming. Because we don't own anybody anyway. It's just for a moment. And it happens to maybe be a lifetime with some people. But then some people, it's just the, you know, um, we with you right here, right now. And so it's the lesson we got to learn. And it don't matter if we've been together for five years. And that person up and say, I don't want to be with you no more. Um, this is not making me happy. And they leave. They have every right to do that. They don't, you're not owning them. You don't own them. And vice versa. So it's like when we learn to just detach and allow the lessons of life to be what they are, then we are uh, more free. We are able to um handle things and be like okay that was a good run that was five years shit if we if we real mature about it we can sit down and reminisce and be like you know what these five years with being with you i learned that this is what i will tolerate moving forward with someone else this is what i want I like this about you specifically, and this is what you could work on. And it could be an open book like that. And so now both of y'all got pointers to move forward in life and do better because you know better. You got five years experience with somebody and they told you the game before you left of what you you know could work on and 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 you could level up within yourself to tell your damn self yeah I, I could work on this better in this next relationship and it could be so easy like that but no we create these bonds and and don't get me wrong I get it people get attached and oh, love you my heart is filled with you and i only want you but sometimes god didn't intend you to even be with them so 
for a month or at all. But we made it up in our mind. I'm looking at you, I'm seeing you, you looking at me, and we seeing each other, and we we together, and that's just that on that. And you create these attachments and shit, and it's not meant. But I get it. So it'd be hard to let go. Like what? I five years. That's a long time to be with somebody, and then you just up and say, "I don't want to be with you." No more. But what can you do when someone is not happy? When you not happy? When you not making them happy? Things are going to continue to spiral out of control. But if you stop it, when they communicate, I'm not happy. And I don't think it is you that can make me happy. I need to go and, and find someone else. You got to let it go. Because if you hang on, you only create more of a problem. More of a resistance. More of a lesson when it could have just been what it was supposed to be. I was supposed to be with you for five years so that I could learn how to 